What's up guys, I'm Steve, that's beautiful. Today, we're gonna show you guys how to change the oil on a Kawasaki Mule 4010 Trans. That's a lot. That's a lot, it's a tongue twister. So today we're gonna show you guys what you need and how to do it, super easy, really important to do real quick guys. The oil needs to be changed on this. The first oil change is at 50 hours from the factory. If you buy it new, it's 50 hours. After that, 100 hour increments. Right now, we're sitting at about 130 hours. You can see it on the, on the hour gauge there. So we're a little bit early, but I got the time and I got the material. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it and we're gonna show you guys how to do it. First thing I wanna show you guys, Kawasaki makes this awesome kit. Comes with everything you need. They even throw in disposable gloves and a disposable funnel, which is a nice little touch. I don't wanna use it. I got my own funnel here. I've also got a little tool for getting the oil filter off if it's a little bit tight, because you know some knuckleheads like to over tighten those things. And uh, I'm that knucklehead sometimes, I don't do it on purpose. And then you're gonna need a socket for the drain bolt. That's gonna be a 14 millimeter. That's what I've already got it on here. And you are gonna want an extension because where it's at, it's a little bit tight of a spot to get to. And all the links for the tools that I'm using, at least the ones that I can find, including this kit, is gonna be down in the description below. So you guys make sure to check it out, especially if you got the same model. And this, this kit, and it, you, you'll see it online, but this kit actually covers a wide range of mules. All right, beautiful, what do we wanna show them first? This is their little funnel. I was trying to figure it out and read the instructions. Apparently just, there you yep. go. We're There's not gonna use it, but yeah, it's not a hat. <laughs> Here's your oil filter. Oil filter. Is the right one? Yep. Yeah, it looks good. That's a tiny little oil filter. Yeah, I know, especially compared to the truck. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh, look, they do have black gloves. Almost looks like yours. Huh. All right. And your oil. Oh, Two quarts of oil. Ring. Yep. And then that little ring. In oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, everything's in here. Good deal. So we did, just did a quick check. Let's show them where everything is on the mule. Okay. Well, I can point out right down there. There's your oil filter. Oil filter's right down there. Where you put your oil. That's where you put your oil at, right there. And then the bolt's underneath. Now the bolt's up underneath. I'll climb up here and show you guys. So if you're facing the passenger side of the mule, air filter's right here. You should check that too. We already did. It's clean, doesn't, doesn't need to be replaced. So that's your air filter. If you go right below it, you'll see the engine. And right up underneath here, if you go straight back, You'll see the bolt right there. All right, so what's the first thing we gotta do? We gotta drain the oil first. We gotta drain the oil. That so old stuff out of there. I'll do the dirty work. I'll get underneath there and pull that plug. You wanna need this? Anything else? No, I've already got an oil pan below, guys, too, and I, I forgot to tell you guys, so you wanna make sure you get your oil pan. You can see it right up underneath there. You got your 14 millimeter bolt right here. You're gonna break that loose. That was pretty loose already. I like to get it hand tight. Put the pan up underneath it. See if you can twist this bad boy off. Oh yeah, I see it twisting. You can see it like right there. Ooh, it's going. Man, it's long. Oil stopped draining, so we went ahead and replaced that washer on the plug, put it back in. And we're just going to snug it right up, again with the 14 millimeter socket. You want it snug, don't over tighten it. All right, beautiful here is going to replace the oil filter. Super easy. It's just a little tight. Not a lot of room to work down here. Yeah, and we've got the drain pan right underneath it, if you guys can see. Almost there we go. All right, and then just try to carefully pull it out without getting oil everywhere. That's all right. We'll wipe it down if it does. Got it. New one goes on, righty tidy. And for these oil filters, you never want to use a tool to tighten them. Just nice and snug. That's all you need. There's like no room. Yeah, I know. All right. That's good? Yep. All right, now we're gonna put two quarts of 10W40. It's 
See if you can do this without spilling her everywhere. I got this. <laughs> That's my farm girl right there. Mm -hmm. Guys, get your woman who can change oil. It's super easy. Yes, it is. And ladies, if you watch this, if you get oil on you, it's okay. It's not gonna kill you. No, it washes right off. Get you a good <laughs> soap and you're, you're good to go. It's okay to get dirty every now and then. The hardest part of this job is putting the cat back on. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. That's it. Just for good measure, we're going to check the dipstick. It takes two quarts of oil, and I think it's actually supposed to be 1.9, just a little under two, but two quarts is fine. It's just uh, such a small difference there. So we're going to check the dipstick. We're going to clean it off. It's a long dipstick. I know. I don't think I've ever seen one so long. I don't think the one on that 6.7 is that long. Uh-uh. Yep, looks good. Crank oh, her up, beautiful. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. <laughs> good to go. Burn like a kitten. Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. As you can see, that was super easy to do it. it. Took us what, maybe? I think took more time to record than it did to actually. It change. does always does when we do these records. So we hope you guys like them. We hope you guys enjoy the videos. And well, I just wanted to show you. And beautiful here likes to learn about oil change stuff like that. And she does a great job. I think and, you can change the oil on every vehicle we have here now. Yep. Yeah, she's a keeper. I think <laughs> I'll, I think I'll keep her around. Anyway, guys, that's all we got for the, for today. That's all we got for the video. Um, like and subscribe remember i'm going to put the links to all this stuff down below especially if you have the same model mule you don't have to do any searching i already got the the kit number or whatever and i'll put that right down below for you guys we love you guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye guys